chapter, 2 Samuel, chapter 7. The life of David is so inspiring, and what a great study for the month of December to just see a man who is described as a man after God's heart. In chapter 7, David says, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God dwells inside tent curtains. He wanted to honor God. He wanted to pour out his thanks and his praise to God. And he said, I'm in this beautiful home. I want to build a home for God. What do you think God says in response? God basically says, you want to build me a house? How about I build you a house? And listen to this in uh, verse 16. God says, your house and your kingdom shall be established forever before you. Your throne shall be established forever. David wants to bless God, but my friends, God turns that blessing around and pours it out on David. He says, I'm going to build you a house and it will be established forever. And that is true in Jesus Christ, the son of David. His throne and his reign is forever. God's promise came true to David. It makes me think of when Jesus fed the 5,000. You know, someone just gave them their little lunch of, of bread and fish. And he exploded it to feed 5,000. I feel that is what God is wanting to do with us today. He wants to take whatever we can bring to him and he's going to blow it up. He's going to expand our territory. He's going to expand our influence. He wants to take whatever we give to him, our obedience, our sacrifice, our love, our praise, and he's just going to expand it, blow it up to reach this world for Christ. So God bless you, my friend. I hope you have a beautiful week. We just want to say that you are a good God all the time. You have good for us. So we want to give you our praise, give you our honor, and give you our thanks. Um, God, I pray for every woman that hears this video that in their house there would be peace, that there would be joy, that there would be an abundance of your presence. Um, I pray your blessings on each of our homes this week. And we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.